Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I don't believe you're doing good, I don't believe you're doing great. In this video, I'm going to be doing an analysis of Euro USD and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, let's say a bit about our last analysis of EURUSD. When we did that analysis, the market was here. You can remember it ended as a doji on the daily time frame. So we did say that this shows indecision. And we said that the market, on the overall, the market was making a series of higher highs and higher lows. Then having made this higher high, so down here, and we considered this to be the higher low, then it started buying only for it to make a doji here. So we did say that there was possibility that the market will sell a bit, then buy again and make the new higher high, or it could buy from there and uh, make the new higher high. That was when we marked this region. You can see this region we marked as our next, um, as a TP when the market will buy. But you can see, um, Throughout last week, there has been indecision in the market. In fact, the weekly time frame ended as a doji. You can see that here. So the market bought on, it sold on Monday, bought on Tuesday, sold on Wednesday, bought on Thursday, and Friday ended as a small bearish candle. So there has been indecision in the market. Now let's start the analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we can see um, Euro USD started buying from here, got to this region, range for a while, sold a bit, bought again, and sold down here. Then from here, it was making a um, series of higher highs and higher lows, which is more visible on the daily time frame. So last month, it ended as a bullish candle with the upper week, and this is the month of September. It is currently a small bullish candle. And we have only one trading day for the month to come to an end. So we're going to see what will happen within that one day. Um, I would say that we're not expecting so much. More li most likely the market could still end um, as a bullish candle, which it is right now. Now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we can see from here the market has been making a series of higher highs and higher lows. Then made this higher high sold down here made a doji here and two weeks ago it ended as a bullish candle then last week ended as a doji now let's consider the daily time frame on the daily time frame we can see after the market made this recent higher high so down here which we were expecting that it will sell down to this region this was the first um, region we expected it to stop which seemed as the um closest support region from here and it the first week it sold it sold quite significantly and we thought it could exceed that region but we can see it did not instead it started buying again and throughout last week like we said earlier it ranged around here now let's consider the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame you can see the market bought from here got here and it just bought and sold. It has just arranged around this region. So that's what happened in the market last week. What do we expect from the market this week? Firstly, on the overall, we still maintain our position that the market is making series of higher highs and higher lows. And having made this higher low, the next logical thing to expect is the higher high. Coming to the weekly time frame, considering the fact that the market has made a a bullish candle here and this is after it sold here so we could say this is the higher low we will expect the market to make the next higher high so seeing a doji here we would like to see the market take a side so um, how I think that will happen is that it will break out of this range you can see it's ranging it ranged here so we we'll like to see the market break out of this range uh, perhaps retest this um support which would which would retest this resistance which will now turn support and make a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and go bullish 
but if we see the market sell significantly and close below the support then um that will propose a sell and this will now be considered a double top on the daily time frame and that will mean that the ascending or the uptrend has ended so i would say that you should look forward to what the market will present like i've said it ended last week as a doji and a doji shows indecision and uncertainty so for that reason we we'll have to wait for the market to take a side and we tilt more towards the possibility of a buy so we're going to be looking out for that so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section or we'd love to have a conversation with you like we always say trading is a highly risky endeavor you don't venture into trading without proper knowledge if you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading you don't have to take this trade you can watch this video for educational purposes and you're going to save it better than risking your heart and money something that fully understand if you want to get our forex course which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market it covers beginners to advanced lessons it has 30 videos and three ebooks including my book trading without tears i strongly recommend this course for anybody who is just starting out to the forex space or someone who is yet to find his way around the financial market so if you want to get this course check the description on this video they're going to see a link where you can get our forex course and if you want to subscribe for a signal service will give proper entry stop loss and take profit check the description on this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without tears check the description on this video you're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want the hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles you can find our social media handles in the description of this video tell us the location or tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.